We're less than a week away now from next Monday's total solar eclipse. And all this week, meteorologist Ryan Breton is sharing facts and tips ahead of the big event. Tonight, a look at the types of solar eclipses and what makes this one so special. The last time the United States experienced a total solar eclipse was six and a half years ago, August 21st, 2017. The next one, not until 2044, so this is a rare event. There are four types of solar eclipses. This event, a total solar eclipse, occurs when the moon completely blocks the face of the sun by passing between it and Earth. People in the middle of the moon's shadow will experience a total eclipse, meaning the sky will darken as if it were dusk or dawn. They'll see the sun's corona or outer atmosphere, which is usually blocked by the sun's bright face. Next up, the annular solar eclipse. This is what many people saw back in October. This also happens when the moon is between sun and earth, but this time the moon is at its furthest point away from earth. This means it doesn't completely cover the sun and it's often called the ring of fire eclipse. Eclipse glasses have to be kept on the whole time for these. Depending on where you are, including all of Connecticut this time, you may experience a partial solar eclipse. This happens during both a solar and annular eclipse when you are outside the area covered by the moon. You'll see part of the sun covered, giving it a crescent shape. Lastly, a hybrid solar eclipse. Because the Earth is curved, there are times an eclipse can switch between an annular and total solar eclipse as it moves across the globe. We are getting you eclipse ready all week, and there are promising signs for us, too, in our seven-day forecast. You can learn much more about it on fox61.com or our mobile app. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.